Good morning. When there's a lot of confusion, I think it's important to stay focused. Yeah, it's a good idea. Because it's sort of easy to get sucked into the confusion, right? And you stop observing things. You just calm down and stay focused. Yeah. You know, I was sort of hoping that some of the mad people would sort of snap out of it <laughs> during this crisis. Out of necessity, they would become more sane, magically. No, it didn't happen. They remain the same. They have the same level of madness throughout the crisis. Yeah. I have some examples of this. First, it's Brussels. Yeah. This is the EPP. It's the big coalition in the European Parliament, EPP. They are now demanding from the UK government that they extend the transition period. So what they basically say, don't leave. Don't leave now. It's very bad with this crisis and all, right? So they are using this crisis as an excuse to demand from the UK government that they stay. And of course, this puts some pressure on the UK government to remain focused, yeah, and and leave, <laughs> yeah. So that's how it is. I mean, there's no connection, is there? It's perfectly fine to leave the EU. It's a good thing, any day, any time, yeah. And you know, the open borders thing, that's an EU idea, and this doesn't help in protecting your country. No. So just leave. All right. Uh, and now from the socialists here in Sweden. Uh, the socialists in the capital city of Sweden, Stockholm, they are now proposing that people belonging to risk groups in the no-go zones. You know, there's a problem with the no-go zones. You know, these people should be invited to hotel rooms during this crisis so that they don't catch the virus, you see? Yeah, that's the idea. This the socialist top name, Karin Van Gård. She's a socialist woman in Stockholm. She defends this idea and says that the city of Stockholm has a good economy. Yeah. So that's why they should do it. They should pay for these hotel rooms. The taxpayers in Stockholm should pay for hotel rooms. Just think about this, you see? So that these people, I mean, come on. And of course, it's always taxes, isn't it? If you should never vote for the socialists, never. Because what you get is this thing called taxes. They just raise the taxes. When there is a problem, they raise the taxes. They use it to raise the taxes. That's what they do. And they promise that the, the solution, that this is the solution to the problem. Like uh, climate change, just raise the taxes and we will handle the weather. Yeah. Coronavirus, no problem. Raise the taxes. Yeah. Pay, pay taxes. That will solve it. And uh, this is another story. It's also from Sweden. Uh, you know, in Sweden we have this limit now. Uh, you can't have be 50 people meeting, you see, because of the crisis. So that's the limit, 50. But there is a sit-down strike in Gothenburg. Uh, Palestinians. They are sitting down outside the migration office in Gothenburg on strike. And they are more than 50, they are 80. 80 of them are sitting there. So, you would expect the police to, to handle it, right? No, but no, they don't. And they have no permit to do the strike either. Uh, the police just leave them. This was a comment from one of the police officers. He says, at the moment we let them do it. We will dissolve it if we feel it is necessary. So, wow. So that's how it works. These people just remain the same.
No, they don't snap out of it. Yeah. I was too optimistic. Okay, that's all. Bye.